Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Cryptic Spiritualist channel. I'm Ranita, and we're going to get right on into this bay leaf wish bill all about the willingness to what? Fall in love. Willingness to fall in love. Being open to have this beautiful surge of the proper love energy that is not just about physical energy, but about a love energy that connects to you inwardly, a potency that connects with Venus and so much more that we all need. So I use my trusty gold candle. It is Sundays. I always burn on Sundays. So I represent the sun with the masculine energy. We always have our Baileys. I have four that we'll be burning on. I always use a black marker to write on my Baileys because it's dark energy. And we always have a tweezer for fire safety and a fire safety shell or whatever you may have available to you. Now, North No Tribe, welcome. That's part of this channel. And welcome new subscribers and all of those that will view this from today and many years to come and working on love. So our first bay leaf is on willingness to fall in love. Willingness to fall in love. All right. Our second bay leaf that we'll be burning on is permission to fall in love. Permission to fall in love. Okay. And the third bay leaf that we're going to be using is give and receive love. Give and receive love. And last but not least, but one of the most important is open your heart to love. Open your heart to love. This is a potent energy wish spell that will be quick, fast, in a hurry, bringing that surge of vibration all around you. So let's get it in. Just in case as a backup plan, if the candle decides to go a little wonky, we can go on and, and work it out. With it. You always have options. If you can't use a candle, you can always use matches. All right? So let's get it in. This is the willingness to fall in love. We want to get a good burn, a good surging burn, so that we can hear it crackling and doing what we need it to do because the crackling means that it's working and it's sending out this very strong energy. Okay? Willingness to fall in love. Willingness to fall in love. Willingness to fall in love. All right. You can burn as much as you like and whenever you like. There's no particular time, just as you're guided, okay? The next one is permission to love, permission to love. It's a good practice, too, when you're burning in reference to love, is to bring about very good music that's in reference to love as well. So you're surrounding yourself with that energy as well. All right. That higher frequency you want to be working with. Okay, that's our permission to love. And now we're going to do give and receive love. 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 Sometimes we got to talk to that bay leaf. <laughs> and we talk out for ourselves, affirming what we want. The last but not least is opening. Open your heart to love. Open your heart to love. To love. Right? 
want to affirm it. Open your heart to love. 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 All right. So that is our final burn. So we have willingness to fall in love. Number one, permission to love. Three, give and, re and receive love. Give and receive love. And number four, open your heart to love. You have to open your heart. And this burning of the bay leaf, it brings about a beautiful um, energy all around you. It is like psychedelic type energy that puts you in a nice state. Uh, you also too can incorporate beautiful music while you're burning. And also to enhance that love vibration is to always play loving music that heightens your energy and that matches you and what you want for your higher frequency. So when you're applying music at, during your burn and continuing wanting this love vibration, you should burn high frequency music that will go into your subconscious mind so that that way you're generating that love vibration on an ongoing basis. If for some reason this particular bay leaf wish bell is not for you and you're good on that love vibration do some burns for someone else magical practitioner if you come in here you're a witch bruja shaman spiritualist clairvoyance medium fortune whatever you may call yourself this is still a practice and a sacred practice that you can do as a quick spell that will work for you anytime anyway what do we do with the ashes? Whatever you like. You can flush them down a the toilet. You can blow them in the wind. It's biogradable. Um, it's not It's not harming to the environment. So it is beautiful. All right. What you can also do with the ashes is make black, black salt. We can make black salt with the ashes as well. I love you for watching today. Don't forget to click that wiggly bell down below. Ding, dong, ding. That you make sure that you get in the daily Fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis here at this channel. We offer a array of services from intuitive readings that would change your life to make sure that you're getting off the figure eight and making changes into your daily situations so that that way every day you're growing and going and you do not look back at yourself at this time as you see your video, this video, and say my life hasn't changed. We should always be growing and going no matter what. Don't forget that we offer spell work that would change every single area of your life because you are human and living in a human experience but a spiritual being and we work with all the elements also quick psa we also offer energy healing reiki by long distance which is distance through skype or facetiming we have in we have today is sacred 2020 Going into tw from 2020 to 21 is a mini spiritual school, a mini M I N I spiritual school that would change your life with daily prompts and so much more that it would encourage your sacred time, part of your to do list, magnifying and being a, in a systematic way of improving your spiritual groundedness and spiritual growth. You have to put in the work to get the work to get the results. That is on our Patreon account. You can give whatever love donation you would like. It's no particular set tier. Whatever you like, you can do, and you can be a part of this mini spiritual school. We also have Flowers in the Attic Book Club. We do a lot there. We focus on diving deep on books to grow and go us and building our, our um, inner selves and our higher selves connecting with the source spirit, spirit guides and the creator. Whatever way that you work with the universe, so it be and so shall it be. All right. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe on Instagram, uh, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube and Facebook. All right. See you later. Bye bye.